up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And today, folks, our goal is to give you a firm number one overall bat for our BB Core rankings. We have the Voodoo One, the Cat X, and the Atlas. Let's get it. All right, folks, three different similar bats from three different brands, the Voodoo one, the Cat X, and the Atlas. And the Voodoo has kind of been the answer for that lately, the number one bat for us for a couple years. It's had it on lock, but the durability issues, man, have been a legit problem with the 2022. And then we were told, we were pretty reassured that they got it fixed. We have a new end cap on there. We have a new knob on there. But I mean, guys, we are early into the season. It's not even baseball season. And I've heard a lot of reports of the knob falling off already on the 2023 but that's going to be tough to keep calling that our number one bat if it's going to break a lot, especially when you have two very good alternatives here. The Cat X has assumed that number one spot. It's absolutely fire. You got me tripping out, dude. And then a brand new bat to Louisville Slugger. We have the Atlas here has absolutely lit up every video we've had it in so far. Mm. Yeah. Amazing exit velos and probably the most forgiving barrel out of these three, even though it's a tiny bit heavier. So we'll do exit velo testing. Zach and I will swing all three of these and we'll try to come to a firm conclusion on what is the best BB core bat of 2023. Let's get it. Zach, I think the move here is we'll do two short rounds with each bat. Let's go Cat X first, then we'll go to the Voodoo, then we'll go to the Atlas. Get the Kraken on there. All right, this is your uh, this is your top dog, Zach. Yeah, I guess for both of us, this is the number one bat right now. This is the bat to beat. So we'll see what we got. Dude, that's so lightweight, man. Don't Smashed it. God, that fires me Already up. flirting with the fence, dude. We said it a million times, the taper on this bat is perfect. No way. Scoreboard! No! Oh, I just missed it by an inch. Dude, oh this, my God. this bat's incredible. Haven't swung the other bats yet, but the fact that we have this at number one right now, I feel very good about that. Oh, dude! dude. Started off hot! Get off of me! Come on. That ball's that's, hammered. It's your baby. And that, that's perfect, perfect, though. Dude, that up and in pitch. Yeah. Just get off me. If you can get to anything with this bat. Oh! Foul pull! Oh, foul! If you want me to say, like, right down the middle, pick a bat that you're going to hit the very furthest with, it's probably not this, but the difficult to get to pitches, man. You say that all the time. Just so much confidence with the Cat X. See, it's like pitches like that, though, that I'm, I just feel like I can throw the barrel. Yeah. All right, fire, dude. Absolutely electric. All right, Voodoo One. Man, so early prediction. I think I might like this bat best. There's a reason it's been number one for two years, but I will take into account durability. And as a high schooler, buying a bat with my own money, what would I really choose here? So I'll take that into account. Hands a little bit, so it definitely rings you up towards the hands a little more than the Cat X does. Out of these three bats, if you look at our Bat Bro scales right now, this has the smallest score for Sweet Spot, but this also has our highest exit velo reading of all time. Oh. Dude, that's so far gone. That is so far gone. That was oh, so far. That's why we like the voodoo. That is, yeah. That's why it's That's up like there. a picture perfect yeah, voodoo yeah. swing. For this to win today, I'm going to need it to be like noticeably better than the other two bats. Since it's got an automatic freaking seven point. It's down by a touchdown early because it's fragile. Love that. Kind of. Kind of like knuckled that. I mean, so good. Oh, that jumps. I mean, that's real nice, Damn. dude. Towards the end, this is like the hottest bat I've ever hit with. It is definitely worse towards the hands than the Cadex, though. Okay, then rounding out round one. 
We have the new guy, the Atlas. The ugliest bat out of these three, for sure. The least known about, the cheapest. Definitely the sleeper coming in. Definitely the heaviest out of the three, but by no means is this a heavy bat. Definitely on the slightly balanced end of the spectrum. I think we have this at a six on the swing weight. God, my BP's so good. That was no low. freaking low. That was low, too. Ooh. Caught that towards the hands a bit. That sounds amazing. Oh my god. Okay, that was towards the hands a little bit. And it felt like it was still the sweet spot in the same way something like the goods or select power would feel. The Cat X wouldn't sting, but it just wouldn't go as far. The Voodoo would still go far, but it would sting. This went far and it felt good. No way, you just did that. And that was in. That was off the plate. Oh. Such a good sound, man. There's just no feedback off the barrel, man. Everything feels buttery. Dude, I love this. I love this bat. I absolutely love it. I hate the color. I love the feel of it. I love the feedback, dude. Oh, that might go, dude. That's a deep part of the yard. Yo, Yo! Oh the school God. bus is celebrating with us. And like, can the Voodoo One and Cat X do that? Absolutely. I just have more range where I feel like that max power hit is attainable. Dude, there's a chance this gets my vote. <laughs> I know. I'm thinking the same thing. It looks. Bad, it looks so bad. It, it's grubby looking. Yeah. We're gonna get three more, including one perfect perfect with each bat. Love that. Dude, feels so good. That's it pretty well. Ooh, right there. A little bit less juice with this. Yeah. But just the feel of it and like oh. how it just feels like I'm literally holding like a yardstick. Yes. <laughs> it's, ooh, it's like it's so freaking light and easy to control, man. Nope. Like that's the pitch. Like a pitch like that that you can just get to. You're just gonna ruin it, yeah. Oh, that's hammered. That's a little low, hammered. but that's smashed. So the big thing I noticed with this, like coming from the Atlas, is that you get a lot more feedback in the barrel. It feels like the impact on the bat, you know, is just a lot more significant than some a little heavier and more forgiving like the Atlas that just powers through the ball. Kind of hands. Dude, Off the really wall. Tough. That's awesome. Just like, like when you talk about being in the box and being able to really game a bat, yeah. the Cat X for me is like, it's it's up there for a reason. Yeah. Hammered right there. <laughs> the ball's going really well. Dude, that might, no, Got it. maybe? Dude, I mean, that ball's hammered. It's fighting. It's fighting for it its saw, bro. See, the only thing with that is, I don't, that same pitch, I don't think I get it out with the other two. Maybe the Atlas. No, I stand by the fact that that is the hottest bat yes. in BB Corp. I do agree. And there's other issues. The sweet spot's small. The Dude, knob I mean, falls that, off. That was on a line, too. Uh, that's the, the highest exit view I've ever gotten in my yeah. life was with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's going to be over the scoreboard. Ah, too much to the left. Just smoked. <laughs> it is holding on for dear life. Ball well, smoked. For this to be my vote today, it needs to be head and shoulders above these other two bats. And I don't know if it's doing that. It's good. Might be the hottest bat here when you really barrel it, but it's not a game changer necessarily. 
do that. Man, it just feels like I can throw the barrel at the ball and I don't have to worry about being as precise as those two bats and it's not much more difficult to swing, bro. Moving from Caddx to Voodoo to Atlas, first swing, is the swing weight an issue at all? This? Yeah. No. Dude, that, that is off the hands. Dude, that, look at that, bro. That's amazing. Ooh. That's incredible. Where'd you hit that ball, you think? Oh. Dude. If this goes. Oh! That's a moon shot. That's out of any big league stadium, dude. Easily. If that goes, that's my pick. Because that's off the freaking hands again. Come on! Oh. Come on. That's gone, dude. Yeah. That's way gone. That's way gone. That's that's it. I'm good. Now I'm just locked in. I feel like I can do anything with this jack. I kept that fair. Crazy. What's happening? All right, huge vote here. Three of the hottest bats in the game. Exit Beal is gonna be close, right? I am gonna say, I still think, I said it a bunch, it's the hottest bat in the game. These are still so good to where if I'm worried about durability on this bat, even like availability on this bat, I have this in the cellar, man. It, it's like, I feel like that's a pretty obvious choice. If these are as good as this, and those aren't gonna have durability issues, this is number three. These two bats, both, I, I see an argument for, for each one, dude, honestly. If you like a light swinging bat, and that's the most important thing to you, you're gonna like this the most. It feels like a freaking sword. It is so easy to swing. For me, the Atlas, it, can do a little bit more in terms of barrel forgiveness and power hitting. I feel like it's a more versatile bat. This is a lot closer to like the goods, but it's also still very reminiscent of something like the Voodoo One. I think more hitters will have less to complain about about this bat. Will's rankings, Voodoo Four. Because if you remember, the goods first voodoo one that big video we were gonna crown the goods but it's because of durability issues so now if they're even i gotta go the goods in number three the cat x in number two and for me the atlas i'm that's uh, so weird to say attacking the ball i feel more confident with this bat because i can control it almost as well as i can control those it's as hot as those and i just have a bigger range where i can miss a little bit and absolutely hammer the ball as long as there are no durability issues here keep me updated please all you guys watching this i got the atlas dude it's crazy so you did you didn't expect me to go atlas number one right there i didn't that's why i was like i held the phone and i was like <laughs> zach let's hear your rankings you said you will die on this hill, I'll die on this hill. You, you have a reason bring it man what you got yes okay so number three same as you will all right the voodoo one oh. voodoo one for number three it had its rain it's had its rain. Everything that's going on with the durability issues and the end caps falling off, right? Knobs falling off. It's a deal breaker for me. If you're gonna spend a couple hundred dollars on a bat, right? You want the bat, it should at least hold itself together. Bare minimum, dude. But otherwise, really hot bat though. Really All hot. right. The two dogs. The dogs. I love both of these bats. Yep. I was honestly torn for a little bit as the rounds progressed. My number two. I uh, see. I thought you were gonna pick that as your number one. My number two. Really? Yes. All right. Explain. Reason why. All right. Go, 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 go. What really skewed my decision between this being two and that being one? I just feel like I have a little bit less barrel control with this. I feel like I can game the Cad X. I'm gonna feel more confident, more comfortable with the box. I feel like I can get to pitches that maybe I normally couldn't get with this bat or even the Voodoo one. With the Cad X, you feel like. The weaknesses that a pitcher might attack, you're gonna be able to defend those better with this. A hundred percent. Like I said, so- Respect, I, I a, bro, respect. I was a guy I handled pitches middle out and down in the zone yep. really well. When I got pitches in, that's a tough pitch for me. With the Cad X, I feel like I can just throw the barrel, I can take my knock the other way. It just feels comfortable, I love the taper. 
I love how it feels. It's really whippy, but it's like that fine line. It's honestly not too light for me, but I'm feeling really confident when I'm in the box. And just both great bass, but again, it comes down to preference, honestly. Yep. These, this is close for me. This yep. is very close. All right, folks, here's your two top dogs. So looking at the Bat Bro scales really just comes down to like what attributes are most important to you. Do you want uh, a little more performance off the hands and off the end and a little more power, uh, be able to loft the ball and hit for power a little bit more? The Atlas is your guy. If you just want the lightest bat possible or the most barrel control possible, the Cat X is your bat for sure. So really, this skews a little more to that power hitter. This skews a little more to that contact hitter. But guys, the video is already pretty long. We're going to postpone exit below to a completely separate video tomorrow. That'll kind of be our tiebreaker. We'll see where we're at between the Cadex and the Atlas. We'll also throw the Voodoo one in there. We'll see you guys soon.